we're no stranger to St. Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, authors of the Gospels, the Good News. We think Mark started his Gospel around 67, the earliest of the Gospels, and the shortest of the Gospels. Like the other evangelists, we believe that Mark started his Gospel with the story of the crucifixion. So he started at the end and then went forward. And with that, he's proclaiming the death of Jesus, that's recorded right here, and of course, subsequently, his resurrection. This quote from uh, Mark today takes place in memory on the evening of Easter. So even though we're not celebrating the Mass for Easter, we always celebrate Easter, it's every day's event. The Gospel of Mark, chosen by the church for his celebration of his feast, is the Easter Gospel. Jesus sending us into the world, proclaiming the good news. And then he ascends out of their sight. So it's the combination of Easter, the ascension, and the mission of the apostles being sent. So it's a very encouraging feast day. Mark became a bishop in the early church. He moved to Alexandria, which is Egypt, and there established a community, but he was eventually martyred, hence the red vestments. He was martyred by a rope tied around his neck, and he was dragged through the streets probably by a cart, until he died. When he died, the story goes that his body was taken and preserved, and then eventually, and I don't know how this happened, it wound up in Venice. How it happened probably is very easy to figure out. During the Middle Ages, when the Crusades had happened throughout Europe, and of course the Holy Land, Mark's body was preserved, you know, not, not incorrupt, but just preserved in a tomb someplace. And the, I gotta say, the Italian crusaders said, we need Mark on our, on our land. With that in mind, they brought the body of Mark to St. Mark and became St. Mark's Basilica in Venice. Mark's gospel is the shortest gospel and in it, Jesus moves, because it's a short gospel, from one spot to another. I mean, not geographically, but by literature. He's here, then he's there, he's there, and in a matter of a few pages, he, he said his whole gospel. So in the third century, when St. Augustine was attributing the four signs around the throne of God, that we hear from the book of Apocalypse, the, the lion, the, the man, then they all have wings, so they're all angelic, um, the ox and the um, eagle. He took each of those symbols and associated each one with one of the Gospels. Mark became the lion with the idea that it was short, it was sweet, and lions move very quickly, like cats, they move very quickly from one spot to another. Just a symbol, just a way of re remembering Mark and his gospel. So it's good to stop and realize that we use these gospels every day. It's, it's not only readings from scripture, it's the good news, this gospel.